Lori Mushkin, and I'm a 2020 COLA Fellow. I've been really honored to be a COLA Fellow. It's been really exciting to me to have an opportunity to be among a cohort of artists that I really respect. It's also been really exciting for me to sort of put my work in conversation with all of these Los Angeles artists over the years. My practice is generally centered around drawing. I also really enjoy um, research. I've been working with landscape imagery for my entire career, first through site-specific installation, and more recently through on-site drawing through a project called Incendiary Traces. This was a really exciting time for me to have the COLA Award because I was working on a project that had to do with looking at the way that the U.S border is defined. And when I got the COLA grant, it was a really exciting opportunity for me to delve into the sort of more historical connection, how what we think about as contemporary kinds of surveillance are really part of a much deeper history that has to do with surveying, land surveying. So I got to really sort of do an entire new project that was focused on that particular part of this topic. In addition to delving into that particular history and kind of being able to conceptually draw a link between contemporary surveillance, which we think of really as a technological practice and historical drawing of the boundary through sort of land surveying. This particular grant and doing that project allowed me to experiment with different kinds of image making processes that I haven't really done a lot with, including photographing in special collections in libraries and also printing those photographs using blueprints. I also got to work a lot more with India Inc. I was really interested in the property of the ink as something that's made with ash. And that when you work with it, there's a way that you can actually get it to dissolve so that the sort of particles of the ash become visually apparent. And this is something that materially was metaphorical to me for something about dissolving of a line. Uh, literally, like if you draw a line with India ink with enough water around it, it literally will sort of fall apart before your eyes. So I just felt like that was really exciting to put this material property in relation to this conceptual research that I was doing. In this new project, I have a series of landscape drawings that were drawn by me and a group of artists and also scientists who I took to draw in a particular site that's relevant to the history of drawing the U.S.-Mexico boundary in the 19th century that happens to be in the Southeast Anza Borrego Desert. This art historian called my attention to the fact that the border was first drawn by a survey party trying to draw a connection between historical surveying practices and contemporary surveillance practices and to show that there is a through line between them and that visual practices and ways of seeing the landscape are fundamental to the way that the boundary is understood. And so when I brought artists who are also scientists out there to draw, that gave us an opportunity to actually show that there are these different values that are reflected in different kinds of images. The contemporary drawings that I've made with India Inc. that are pictures of the ways that contemporary surveillance is viewed today on a screen through drone imagery and also through software that's tracking people, then you get to see all these different ways that different entities actually view and picture the border. So one of the things that fascinates me about this Boundary Commission survey is that it is a way, it's a scientific classification of the landscape and the living things in the landscape. In the 19th century tradition it is classifying those Things. This classification is something which is part of the history of identifying, you know, what the boundary is and what the country is. And it's also a way of controlling what's in that territory by naming and by drawing and by sort of calling out in a particular way, which is through that very specific perspective. So that sort of is connected in my mind very clearly to contemporary modes of surveillance to view and classify the border. In my project, the 19th century botany drawings that have these Latin names that were newly 
given to the plant by the survey team. Those images of the plant and the sort of impulse to name them and to reframe them in the view of the survey team, that is in a sense a proxy for the way that this contemporary software that's used by different border agencies is used to reframe the way that the people that they are surveilling are being identified.